Yo, what's going on you guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at this Heat Seeker missile. Now this is mainly going to be for the new rebirths, the people that are new to this game and Military Tycoon. I'm going to show you where you can go to fire this missile, how much it'll cost, and how easy it is to control. So first off, if you're a low rebirth, I'm just going to let you know right now, you're going to need the third floor so that you can get to the computer to access the laptop to shoot this missile out. So all you're going to do is go in here, you're going to head over to the third floor. Now when you enter this room, there's going to be a monitor over here to your left. You're going to get inside of the seat by pressing E, and then you're going to zoom into your character, and you can see the monitor display, and right here it'll say fire 50k. So it costs $50,000 to fire one of these missiles, and you can fully remote control it and send it wherever you like. I'm going to show you right now. It's extremely loud, so I definitely would suggest to lower your audio. I think someone's trying to take this. BOOM! And they're dead. <laughs> that was so messed up. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so as you just saw, I just killed the guy at the loot crate. So if I really wanted to, I could hop on my F-35 right now, head over there and take it from him. But I'm not going to do that to him. I'm going to let him go back and grab his little loot crate. But once you're done firing your missile, you're going to see you have a cooldown. It's a cooldown for about two to three minutes, I believe. It's going down by seconds at the moment. And then once the cooldown is over, you can press E, get back in your chair and you can fire another missile. I don't know how long you can have the missile out in the air in general, but I'm pretty sure it's about a good two minutes. I've had the missile out for quite some time before, and it, it lasted a really long time. Now, just like any other missile, this missile is very sensitive, so you don't want to rub it up against anything or hit anything. You don't want to hit a tree or anything like that while you're flying it, because any of the littlest thing will make it blow up, and that'll be a waste of 50 grand. Hurry up, man. Come on, man. Alright, the cooldown's done, so we're gonna hop in the chair. Now, sometimes the 50k comes up right here. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes I have to zoom in, and then it comes up for me, and sometimes you just gotta sit there and wait a few seconds. But there you go, it's 50k. Damn, my freaking eardrums, bruh. So you can run this missile into just about anything. You can run it into a boat, you can run it into a jet, a plane, a base. If there's a group of people here, you can kill all of them. The radius with this missile is extremely high. I would not suggest going out to aircrafts because it's honestly really slow. It's way too slow and it doesn't turn fast enough for you to be able to hit one. Like, I, I can try to hit this A-10, but I, I don't think it's gonna... Yeah, no. He he he's too fast. I can't do it. <laughs> So just to test it, I'm going to be hitting this boat with the missile to see how much damage it does. Hey, yo, that's a good chunk of damage for a carrier. A carrier is one of the highest HP boats in the game, so that's actually a pretty good number right there. But yeah, the missile does a lot of good damage. It has a really high radius. If there's a group of people somewhere, let's say over here, and the missile hits right here, it'll most likely kill them because the radius is so high on the missile. I don't think that needs a nerf. To be honest, I think it's about just right. I wish it was a little easier to control. It will take some practice to be able to use it like efficiently, but you can definitely get it down after a couple uses. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.